Hello, wonderful viewers. I come your way again with yet another episode of your docu series, Handicap. Today, my team and I find ourselves in Domi, in the greater Accra region. You know what? Let me not bore you with too much talk. Let's go meet who we are interviewing today and set the ball rolling. Hello, Madam Teche. Madam Teche. Yes. Yes. Yo, about the chance I have Now, who will make a family? Patience, Nanwa. My name is Patience Nanwa. I live in Domi, Domi CFC. and I come from Bolegatanga in the Upper East region. I wasn't born this way. I am a trained skilled worker with two hearts. I used to sell food. Watch it was what I started with. I rented an itchy. One early morning, I was preparing to cook a meal. I saw the smoke in the air like tear gas has been sprayed. I felt it in my nose and eyes. I felt dizzy and passed out. I didn't know what happened the next. I was going to go to my house. I was going to go to my house. I was going to go to my house. I was told later in the day after I had passed out. My workers came around and they were forced to break the door. They saw me lying on the floor in the fire. They rushed me to the Achimata Hospital. They couldn't handle my situation at the Achimota Hospital, so I was transferred to the Kolebu Teaching Hospital, where I was told that my hand was already damaged, so they would have to amputate it. So I gave the go ahead and my hand was taken off. It was difficult for me coming back home. I can no longer wait. I caught the press. I was indoors. My friends came and around and me back to me. me. No, I'm Even I'm my church me. members prayed with me. Madame, for no, I'm that inspired I'm me to do me. something for I'm myself. I'm so. I'm I'm so. I then decided to go for one craft of mine, tying down. I was told that I was going to be a bit easier for me to do than cooking because of lifting of staff. I have a people who help me with a tying down. I have 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 a tying down. I know a few handicapped people, so I brought them together. Someone has lost an arm. Someone has lost a leg. We can help each other do this. I decided to go out on the street to beg for arms. So the time and day is what I have to do. Madam Patience taught us how the tie and day was made. She got help from some friends around here.
and I'm sure one Nima. The time died, she only six months to learn at Accra. Oh, my mean, six months old. If she under your pump, you sat and I'm in pride. And see, I wasn't in the state by me. I am pump. No, no, we go out with triple, sat time. No, not me, madam. Most of our products were exported to Europe. We made tie and dye and sew in that time. Afterwards, we package and export it. Hold on, Mr. Nia. We say, we did them. I say, me can say, me need to buy it. I say, we continue. I'm here in Kaka. Me need to come home. Me here in Kaka, Kaka. I'm so far away from Fona. So in my current state now, I'm in a state of stress. 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 At Christmas festival, that's why you don't see me around me when you guys came around. We are madam, na me nga. We will be here for the So that we can expand this type of dye business and help those in situations like myself. It's been seven years. I lost my arm. Eja told me I see feeling gas. Then no, sad time. It is seven years. It was the same time fire gutted circle in the greater Accra region. When it happened, I lost all my savings. I pushed every dime I had into paying off my hospital bills. People came as well to help. Some couldn't believe that I could get back on my feet. But here I am. My handicap people don't have money to come around and lend the time and die. So what I do is, whatever time and die we sell, I use it as transportation for them to come and work. I cook. We all eat together. And when they are going back home, I form their transportation again. I look out for the public so that I can support them to come and learn how to do it. I know a lot of handicapped people. I speak to them, gather them, and encourage them to learn the tie and die so that they can become independent and not go to the streets to beg for arms. A lot of them have nothing to do with it. They are always indoors. It's difficult for them. Some of them have lost their lives. It's not easy to be in that situation. Anytime I'm about to do this tie and die, I call them to come over so we do it together. What we are lacking is capital. Things are expensive now. The dye we use in my shop. When help comes my way or our way, it will be able to encourage or inspire my colleagues. When the shop is built, we will be able to work more so that those who normally go to the street would also come around and learn. Because when they get to know this craft, they can also establish themselves and be independent. Me, if I get the help from the public, I can expand this tie and die of mine. I am going to help them more. I have been helping them when I literally had no support. When help comes my way, the handicapped people are around me automatically benefit. The shop will be used to stock our products so that people can benefit. When that happens, we all get to lead. If I can get more support, that strength or energy I'm putting into this agenda will be stronger. We have come to the end of today's episode. 
I would like to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you to all those contributing to the docu series, being it cash or kind. In no time, we'll be back in here to see the progress Madame Patience has made with the funding generated for her. Catch me same time next week. As usual, my name is Mavis Eden Adalagui. This is Handicap.